Welcome back guys, let us talk about what we're expecting of part 2 and apparently this is the episode that finally you guys I am because as of today I'm finally discounting as of yesterday's episode I think you guys I am um finally realized that Fatu has always been innocent and that you know Fatu isn't the problem and that Ruhan actually framed Fatu just to you know in fact that Ruhan generally manipulated him to believe everything that you know he said and now guys let us talk about it and how he realized that he have actually wrong Fatu and now he wants to start running haters get her to make peace with Fatu and I feel if I'm Fatu it won't be easy for you I mean really anyways guys let us start the episode the episode started with conversation between Daiji and Neil they served some good tasty food but before I've been food she goes to make a call here Simitra suggests to Savita to have some start to have some rest Savita seems very tense and disappointed Simitra also suggests that to choose another girl for Ayan who will make him really happy but Sumitra adjoins that it is better to forget Fatu for Ayan and he should marry a girl who would be perfect for him. Meanwhile Tanisha interrupts and miss Meanwhile Tanisha interrupts in the midst of Sumitra's plan and asks her to not think of Ayan. He is still seeing in the thoughts if Fatu she still thinking the thought of Fatu so it would be very odd to bring any girl in the life of Ayan. Let that Tanisha rebuke Symmetra for her foolishness, but Symmetra decide to search the reason behind her restlessness. Here Fatu calls her father Charan and tells everything about herself. Her father questions her about what did she leave, why did she leave the town. He repeatedly asks Fatu to return as a asap, but it is not possible for Fatu to return in the city now. He mentions her he mentions her the issue regarding he mentions her the issue regarding the divorce paper. Sharon wants to come there and Fatu tells her, tells her the address where she is now living. Sharon decides to come for Fatu after the phone call. Fatu breaks and in tears. Later, Fatu tells everyone everything to Daiji, learning the matrimonial relationship of Fatu. He becomes very surprised. I heard a dispute take place between Ayan and Ruham. Ayan asked Ruham why did he kidnap Fatu when Fatu came to him by her own choice. Ruham tells everything to Ayan, how he misinterpreted the action of the video. One by one, Ruan explained every doubt of Ayan. Ayan learning everything. Ayan cannot take any more and proceed to beat Rohan. Rohan scolds Ayan for the lack of trust for his wife. He also explains why did he also explains why did he wants to take revenge on the Mitai family as well. He even mentions the mistake of Ayan, which he which has destroyed the conjugal life of Ayan and Fatu. Rohan confesses what mistake he had done with Fatu. How he intentionally and unintentionally he destroyed the happiness of Fatu and Ayan. Now he really feels sad of Fatu because he only wanted to target Ayan and the Mita family. Before leaving the tab, Ruhan confesses what he did to break Fatu and Ayan's bonding. Later, recalling everything, Ayan breaks down in tears and feels sorry for his mistake. Ayan calls Tanisha and asks her to search for Fatu. Hearing the name of Fatu, Jonathan talks by himself with Ayan. He is asked to return in home. Tanisha becomes tense, thinking about Ayan. Ahead, Charan would arrive in the house of Neil and confront Fatu on what she is doing there. So, this is the entrance of Neil. I think that is um, the guy I've been promoting as Fatu's soon to be husband. But, anyways, he is not the highlight of the episode. The highlight of the episode is Ayan finally learning how stupid he has always been and also how Fatu has been innocent and also that he broke ties with Fatu, his innocent. I don't know. Next episode that I'll post, you now start begging for forgiveness and Fatu to take him back. I will see you guys next time. But if you're Fatu, would you easily accept him back just like that? Do let me know in the comments.